Hi hey everybody and welcome back to my Shibari channel Yuganawa. Today I want to continue um, the first couple of videos that I made with another video uh, that's also a single column tie but it's a different version of a single column tie called the Somerville Bowline or uh, the Carrick Band. Uh, so the story behind that is that uh, I think in 2010 some uh, famous uh, shibari artist uh, or bakshi um, came up with this uh, Somerville bowline and but later it was actually found out that this not had existed this not had existed for quite some time and it was originally called the uh, Carrick Bend. So uh, that one is uh, the one we will go through today. Mm. And um, yeah, as I go through it, I want to show you the advantages and disadvantages it has uh, compared to the standard single column tie. And so if you haven't watched the videos on the standard single column tie, um, the first videos I've made, then just go to my channel, uh, look for them, and I would strongly advise to watch them first so that you know what I'm talking about when I when I compare the differences. Let's just start right away and do the knot once. Uh, just to, you know, in order to dive right into it, I would say, okay, we have, so we have to bite. And actually we start uh, just in the same manner as the normal single column tie. We wanna have six strands next to each other. Um, and of course, we want to keep a nice distance between the column and the strands. So here we are, six strands, strands nicely and neatly next to each other. That's how we want it. Now, if we were to continue with the standard single column tie, the next step would be to basically take the bite end and uh, put it over the four strands here and pull it through underneath. But in this case, that's what we're ex actually not going to do. We're just going to let the, the bite end of the rope lie loosely here. And we're going to focus on the other end, this end here, the open end. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a loop. So we just grab the rope from underneath and try to create a nice simple loop like that. So it's just a loop that's just supposed to kind of lie there and that you clamp tight with your thumb and your index finger. So the, yeah, uh, the, 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 this open end of the rope basically comes from here, makes this loop and continues here. And uh, that's it. Yeah. So I'm just going to do this slowly one more time, just so you can get on the train, so to say. So we have these six strands lying next to each other and we're gonna take this end here and create a nice loop like that. Very simple. Now, next thing, it, what we do is we take the bite end and just put it through the loop once. And that's the second step basically after creating the loop here. And uh, the third step would be to pull through the bite end of the rope underneath these four strands here, right? So going through the loop and underneath coming out at this end here. So we have the loop here and now the bite end is here again. And we're gonna do the exact same thing one more time. We're gonna go through the loop again with the end of the bite, with a bite end. And basically you're done now. So this is your, this is your uh, Somerville bowline. Yeah? So if we pull it tight, we can see that it is forming a nice and um, stable kind of knot. Yeah, it's very good. So uh, the first thing that I think is an advantage of this single column tie here is that it looks less bulky and more elegant and that I think actually once you have the hang of it it's actually simpler and quicker to tie than the standard single column tie and yeah as I said it doesn't look half as bulky to me 
Um, so it's it's much nicer. Second advantage, definitely, indisputably, is that this uh, nut has a, a lot better integrity than the standard single column tie. As we discussed in the previous videos, it's always the case, most always, usually always the case that as you pull on the working end, as you pull it and apply some tension, the knot of the standard single column tie always loses some integrity. Um, um, but this one actually doesn't lose integrity at all. Instead, it becomes even tighter due to the nature, how due to the nature of the knot, huh? it becomes even tighter. So, if you need a very reliable uh, and definitely um, a knot that doesn't lose any tightness or or um, reliability. Um, or integrity, then this one is definitely the better choice. Uh, in general, I would argue um, that this is always the better choice because it's, as I said, it's more simple to knot. It looks more elegant, um, and and it's it has this it has this super good integrity here. Now, the only disadvantage is that if you apply a lot of tension on the ends of the rope, it tends to be maybe a little bit more difficult to um, undo than the standard single column tie. Uh, at least that's what a lot of people say. But I have to say, I don't think it's that much easier to undo actually. Well, maybe, you know, if you actually pull, put the, the standard single column tie under tension, then it actually, as I said before, it loses some of it in its integrity and therefore you can undo it more easily later maybe that's true but i don't i don't find it that hard to undo this tie so you can see here it's quite easy to yeah i already have it here it's already loose so it's not too difficult um now of course it can be a factor i mean if for your hands it's kind of easier to undo the standard version of the single column tie then uh that might be a real factor now, why is that the case? Um, if you're a very beginner of Shibari, then you might not be so aware of this, but um, the untying part of the Shibari session is actually just as important, uh, some people might argue even more important than the tying part itself. And um, for that reason, th th that's especially true uh, if you're doing an, a shibari performance, like an on-stage performance or something. Um, but yeah, also maybe for, for private play, um, some people may consider this very important. Um, now, if for whatever reason it is important for you, then you might, might may want to be able to do the untying as smoothly as possible, as smooth as you did the tying part to not lose any uh, flair in the moment, so to say. Yeah? And in that case, you may have to consider yourself which one of the two knots you really want to use, uh, which one is easier to undo. But yeah, so that sums it up. Uh, this is the Somerville bowline. And actually, I would say this is the most, uh, that, that in my opinion, it's the, it's the most common single column tie that one uses because of its uh, mentioned advantages. So I hope this video helped you. Um, if it did so, then please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. Maybe also click the notification bell. And yeah, I hope to uh, see you again in the next video. And uh, oh yeah, if you, uh, uh, if you have any wish for content, to cut for me to to uh, to cover a specific kind of content um to cover some special knots or whatever then just let me know in the comments let me know your thoughts and um your opinions on this and uh yeah hope to see you in the next video bye